Hello students, let us discuss the oxo acid of group 17 elements. Among the halogens, fluorine have a little tendency to form oxo acid due to its high electronegativity and small size. So when you look at in this table, there is only one oxo acid for fluorine but other can form 2 to 3 or 4 oxo acids. Depending upon the oxidation state of uh, halogens, these can be classified into four types that is halic 1 acid, halic 3 acid, halic 5 acid, halic 7 acid in which the oxidation state uh, is plus 1, plus 3, plus 5 and plus 7 respectively. As Fluorine have a very little tendency to form oxo acid, so it is a only single oxo acid it can form that is hypofluorous acid. But chlorine can form hypochlorous acid, chlorous acid, chloric acid and perchloric acid. So these can be represented by the name for halic 1 acid it is represented by name that is hypofluorous acid. For HOF, hypochlorous acid, hypobromous acid, hypoiodous acid. So you can see the similarity in the names and the formulas you can see the similarity. But for halic 3 acid, only chlorine can form halic 3 acid. That is called as chlorous acid. The formula is HOClO. And halic 5 acid. Chlorine, bromine and iodine can form this type of acid in which the oxidation state is plus 5 for halogen that is chloric acid, bromic acid, iodic acid. So and plus 7 oxidation state that is halic 7 acid it can form chlorine can form that is called as perchloric acid, perbromic acid and iodic that is for iodine per iodic acid. So better to learn this um, acids in this tabular form. So comparatively you can study. When we compare the acidic character here, acidic strength of oxo acid having the same oxidation number of the halogen. In that case um, we can say that it um, decreases with the increasing the atomic number. So when we compare the acidic strength of Hypochlorous acid, hypobromous acid and hypoiodous acid. Its acidic strength decreases down with the increasing atomic number. This can be explained on the basis of electronegativity of the halogen atom. The electronegativity of halogen atom attached to oxygen decreases in the order that is in this order. So, the tendency to withdraw electron from oxygen atom towards itself decreases. So, the acidic character decreases here. So, this is the acidic strength of oxo acids having the same oxidation number of the halogen. But, when we compare the acidic strength of oxo acids of chlorine like hypochlorous acid, chlorous acid, chloric acid and perchloric acid because in these the oxidation state of chlorine is plus 1, plus 3, plus 5 and plus 7 respectively. Since the oxidation state increases from plus 1 to plus 7, so their acidic strength also increases from hypochlorous acid to perchloric acid. That means this is the stronger acid and this one is a weaker acid. So what we can say that from this that is the acidic strength increases with the increasing oxidation number of a particle halogen. This can be explained on the basis of bronsted lowry concept that we have discussed last year. According to this concept the stronger acid give rise to weaker conjugate base and the weaker acid is giving rise to stronger conjugate base. So when we make the conjugate base for these it will be like this that is ClO minus that is a conjugate base for hypochlorous acid 
ClO2 minus that is a conjugate base of chlorous acid, ClO3 minus that is a conjugate base of chloric acid and ClO4 minus is the conjugate base of perchloric acid. How we find out conjugate base? Remove the H plus ion. So that result in the formation of the conjugate base. So these are the conjugate base of these acids that is the oxo acids of chlorine. So when we look at the stability of these conjugated bases it will be in this way that means ClO4 minus that is more stable than this than this and this. So it shows that uh, the acidic character increases with the increase in the oxidation number of a particular halogen because their conjugated base their stability of their conjugated bases is increasing so that is the reason these have increasing acidic strength with increasing oxidation number of halogen now let us discuss the structure of these acids that is hypochlorous acid this is chlorous acid structure structure of chloric acid and structure of perchloric acid it is important to learn the structure of these acids now how to learn these structures very easily that we are going to discuss here first of all make the structure of hypochlorous acid you can make this structure very easily h o c l that is h o c l is a hypochlorous acid now here the c l that is chlorine when you add a double bonded O there, then this is the structure for chlorous acid. So the chlorous acid is ready. Now one more double bond O, add it on the chlorine. Now this is the structure for chloric acid. Similarly, make one more double bond O on this chlorine. So this is the structure for perchloric acid. So how easily you can draw the structure of these acids that is the oxo acids of chlorine. Once again we will make the structure very easily that is first you make the structure for hypochlorous acid. This is very easy to learn hypochlorous acid. Keep one double bond O on the chlorine that is chlorous acid. Keep one more double bond O on the chlorine that is chloric acid and keep one more double bond O that is giving rise to perchloric acid. So very easily you can make the structure of the oxo acids of chlorine in this way. So this is all about the oxo acids of halogens we have discussed in which fluorine can form only limited oxo acids but the chlorine can show the different oxo acids like hypochlorous acid that is called as helic 1 acid, then helic 3 acid, helic 5 acid, helic 7 acid on the basis of the oxidation number of chlorine. So this is all about the oxo acids of halogen that we have discussed here. So this is all about this video. Have a nice day.